Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new San Diego Comic-Con 2022 exclusive Beast Kingdom Egg Attack Stealth Suit Iron Man. And I'm pretty hyped up about this figure. So let's go ahead and get into it, starting off with the awesome packaging. I really like the art style that they have going on here. You can see the figure, but it's in this like stylized kind of color. I think it's awesome. Back here we get some classic comic book panels that look really cool. On the side of the box, we get a look at Iron Man doing his thing, just hanging out, looking awesome. On the back, we get a look at uh, the figure in all kinds of different poses, but again, it's like this weird stylized artwork, and I think that's cool. It shows you what the figure could do, but it's also kind of like artistic and different. I think that's dope. And then over here, we get a look at Iron Man, get the classic Marvel Comics logo. Always love to see that. And then when you open this up, you get an actual look at the figure itself. It's kind of hard to see because the glare, but you know how that goes. Over here, we get a look at the figure along with his accessories. And again, in that weird kind of comic book style. I think that's awesome. That's an awesome way to show off the figure, but still kind of holding back a little bit so that <laughs> when we open this up, we're kind of, it's more of a new experience. But, you know, right here, it gives you all the information you need at the same time, but still not telling you everything. It's kind of like a, a teaser or something. I think that's cool. But yeah, I really like this art style that they used on here. But enough about this pretty box. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. And so here we have Iron Man right out of the box. And as you can see, this guy's looking pretty damn awesome. <laughs> I really like what we have going on here. I like that they use different shades of blue on him. You could see that the torso, the lower arms, the lower legs, and the back of the head are like a darker blue. And the rest of the arms, the upper legs, and the faceplate are a more turquoise kind of color. And I think they blend together very well. And then we have the red of the arc reactor and the eyes that really pop against the dark colors of the armor. So I think that is awesome. This guy looks amazing. And I've got to say, this Iron Man figure has actually been one of the more fun egg attack figures to actually play with and pose around. Um, his articulation will give you a little bit more than something that's covered in soft goods. So um, I'm having fun playing around with it. But yeah, just check him out. He looks really good. And then what do we have here on the back? A compartment. Let's open that up. Boom. We got some batteries and a switch. So you know what that means. We have a light up function. Boom, light up arc reactor. That is awesome. I'm a sucker for <laughs> light up effects on small figures like this. I think it, it's very impressive when they're able to do it, but that looks nice. I do wish that the eyes were able to light up as well, but that's kind of being a little greedy at that point, but I think it would have looked cool. But as it is, the, eye, the red of the eyes stands out enough along with the, the arc reactor while it's lit up to make it look cool. So... Yeah, I'm happy with this, man. This is awesome. And then as far as the sculpted details go, there's really not a whole lot to talk about because Iron Man's suit is pretty smooth and simple, but I think that Beast Kingdom did a pretty good job with it. Starting off at the head, I think this is a great looking head sculpt. I like the way the eyes look. I do wish that they were able to light up, but as they are, the red is bright enough to look cool. So I do like it. I like how we have the sculpted eyebrows there on the mask. That always cracks me up. And then the cheekbones. And then on the side, we've got this little circle. Same thing on the opposite side. This does look really good. And the faceplate does come off, but they did a really good job of keeping it flush and making it look nice and natural. So that's awesome. And I do like that there's some different shades of blue on here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but the faceplate is slightly different than the rest of the helmet. So uh, that's awesome. And then moving down into the body here, you can see on the neck, we have some sculpting work. So that's good. Then on the chest, we have the sculpted metal muscles, the arc reactor that looks nice, these things up here, whatever they are. And the blue of the arms is slightly different than the blue on the torso. You could kind of see it there. It's a little hard to make out because they are, they're both like a metallic blue, but on the arms, it's much lighter. You can kind of see the difference a little bit more there. And then on the forearms, we have these things, which are not actually sculpted to the figure. They're overlays. And at first, I, I, I kind of didn't like that, but now it doesn't really bother me at all. Same thing over here. Nice sculpting work on the hands and on the forearms. I do kind of wish that the joint in here was more blue instead of black because it can stand out in certain positions. And then coming down to the lower half of the body, this all looks good. Again, you know, Iron Man's look is pretty simple, so there's not a whole lot going on. Here's the little ports for his uh, missile effects that we'll look at later, which are awesome. And then here's a little compartment for the battery. The lower legs also have like an overlay. It's not like a sculpted down thing. 
Right here, they're kind of beneficial because they actually get out of the way when you're articulating the foot and you can bring them down and make it look good. So that's awesome. Yeah, so I think this figure looks really, really good. I like that they gave us a couple of different shades of blue just to kind of break it up. Um, I love the way the red arc reactor looks, how it stands out on the blue. It looks nice. The sculpting work that they needed was very well done. And yeah, I think the figure looks amazing. So I'm happy with what we have going on here. And then now for some size comparisons, here we have Iron Man alongside the Beast Kingdom Egg Attack Classic Comic Book Spider-Man and the Beast Kingdom Egg Attack Spider-Gwen. And as you can see, Spider-Man is a little bit bigger than Iron Man. But, you know, with these type of figures, I'm not necessarily sure if scale is that big of a, of a, of a deal, you know? Like, if it's close, it's fine, in my opinion. Um, bigger characters should be way bigger. Like, if they ever did a Hulk, it should be huge. Their Venom figure is huge. And that kind of stuff is cool. Uh, but when it comes to, like, the regular size characters... I don't know, maybe it really doesn't matter all that much, but in this case, it does look like Spider-Man is slightly bigger than Iron Man, mostly because his big head. <laughs> and then next up here, we have Iron Man alongside the Egg Attack Astonishing Cyclops and the Egg Attack X-Force Wolverine. And then next up, we have Iron Man alongside a few of my favorite Egg Attack figures. On the left, we have my favorite X-Men, Gambit, and on the right, we have Absolute Carnage. And both of these figures are awesome. Absolute Carnage is definitely one of the best Egg Attack figures, man. He's got a lot of good stuff going on. He's got a light-up feature. He's fun to play with. He's got a really unique sculpt. That's a nice figure. And Gambit, man, they just killed it all the way around with the jacket, the chest plate, the effects, the head sculpt. Everything about both of these figures is pretty damn amazing. And then next up, we have him alongside his Comic-Con 2022 exclusive partner, the Egg Attack Beskar Mando. On the opposite side, we have the Egg Attack Jango Fett. And then, of course, we have him alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. Then next up, we have him alongside a couple of Marvel Legends Iron Man figures. On the left, we have the Stealth Suit Iron Man. On the right, we have the Modular Suit Iron Man. And I just love that companies give so much attention to, like, Iron Man comic book figures, you know? Like, it, they tend to go all out. They always look amazing. Like, just check out how cool all three of these look together standing on the shelf. Um, you know, this Egg Attack Iron Man could fit in very nicely with your Iron Man Hall of Armor. Just from like, you know, not like a comic accuracy aspect, but just from like having a cool Iron Man shelf. He he'll look awesome up there with a bunch of other shiny comic book Iron Man figures. And then for the final size comparison, here we have him alongside the Disney Toy Box Hulkbuster Iron Man. And then on the opposite side, we have one of the most slept on Iron Man figures. That's the Marvel Select Hulkbuster Iron Man. That thing is awesome. And then for accessories, Iron Man does come with two different sets of hands. First off, we have a pair of fists, and then we have a set of open hands that have peg holes in the center so you could plug in the repulsor blast effects that he comes with. And then he also has some blast off effects that you could plug into the bottom of his feet. And all that stuff is very cool, but by far the coolest accessory that Iron Man comes with are these awesome missile effects. Look at these things. <laughs> oh man, I really love the way that Beast Kingdom did it because it's very simple. They're just ball joints that plug into the back. They plug in with no problem. And you can move them around. They actually have some pretty good range considering that it's just a simple ball joint. But you could make them look like they're coming off to the side. And then have this one look like they're kind of wrapping around Iron Man. And yeah, these things are awesome. I'm definitely going to display Iron Man with these things coming out of his back. So, <laughs> man, I love them. It would have been cool if they, if they came with more. They kind of like were a little bit more spread out or coming around a little bit more or something. I think that would have been dope. But as it is, these things are awesome. This is one of the coolest accessories I've seen on a Beast Kingdom, on an Egg Attack figure. So, uh, yeah, I love this. This is awesome. It definitely takes Iron Man up a couple of notches. Having him on the shelf like that is going to be <laughs> pretty epic. I love it. And then lastly, he does come with one of the Beast Kingdom stands. And this is awesome. We get some classic Iron Man artwork right there. And then it says Iron Man on the front. And like I always say, I like these stands a lot because... The figures look awesome on them, and I like to display the Egg Attack figures on the stands, like, all, like, next to each other. They look awesome on the shelf like that, so look at that. That's dope. And Iron Man does have some pretty good articulation, even though he does have basically the same exact articulation setup that we've seen on most of the recent Egg Attack figures. But with Iron Man, since he doesn't have clothing and all these other things on him, his joints get way more range, obviously, and we get a good sense of what these bodies are actually capable of. And I've got to say, this Iron Man figure... It's got to be like the most fun I've ever had actually posing around an egg attack figure. There's all kinds of good stuff you could do with him. Some of his joints were a little tight out of the box, so I did have to use my trusty gun oil. But once I put a couple of drops of this stuff into the joints, I was good to go. And uh, yeah, since then, I've been having a really good time with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have going on here, starting off with the head. The head is able to move side to side, which is nice. And then we get a little bit of tilt action. 
and then his head can go back to about right there on its own but luckily he has movement at the lower neck so when you use both of those you can get him to look up a decent amount but that's not quite enough for flight poses but then if you bend back the torso you could actually get him into a really nice flight pose look at that I wish his head can go back just a little bit more but if I try to push it it'll pop off but still this is definitely pretty good I could live with that that's an awesome flight pose right there I'll take it yeah so I'm happy they made the figure capable of doing this I was a little worried about that there we go that'll work yeah so I'm pretty happy with what they did with the head and the neck area and then as for the torso he does have a diaphragm cut and a ball joint at the waist and using both of those together we get some pretty good crunch going forward and then like we just saw it goes back a really good amount it could go back to about right there maybe a little bit more now that's about it so that's good and then we get some good side to side and then you could swivel on the waist itself and you could also swivel at the diaphragm but it's easier to swivel from the waist and then for the arms we do have these awesome butterfly joints and you are able to get his arm in front of him a pretty good amount so you could get some pretty decent punching poses and then you could get him to go back to about right there I feel like if you spin the arm around there we go we get his arm in front of him just a little bit more so yeah there you go get him into a cool little punching pose <laughs> yeah that that'll work then this arm goes back to about right there that's about as far as it'll go but yeah I like that uh, we could get him into a nice little punching pose even though he can't get his arms <laughs> too far away from his own head I think you could make some things happen there and then we also have a ball joint here at the shoulder so that goes all the way around and his arms could come up a pretty good amount so that's nice then he does have upper bicep swivel and a double jointed elbow and as you can see this piece here does get in the way of the double jointed elbow but because it's loose it also moves out of the way a little bit but if you go too far it'll definitely pop the hand off it'll it'll push up and pop the hand off so that's about as far as it'll go before it wants to push this whole situation off but yeah that'll work that's not too bad at all and then at the hand itself he's got like the little ball joint in there so as you can see it's like one of those double ball peg situations so it can move around it could swivel and uh, yeah it's okay for the hand there and then I was pretty impressed with the hips because he does have drop down hips check this out boom they drop way down and he could kick forward to about right there <laughs> which is pretty good they could only go back to about right there but check this out if you drop both of the legs down you could get him into a pretty nice uh, high kick <laughs> look at that I really wasn't expecting that out of Iron Man <laughs> but that's pretty awesome I don't know I still don't think it'll reach anyone's face or anything I don't think he'll be kicking titanium man or um, the Mandarin or anyone like that in the mouth but maybe like in the balls but maybe like in the stomach or something that'll work <laughs> and then he does have upper thigh swivel he's got double jointed knees which we have a similar situation with the lower leg as we did with the arms where this is a sliding around piece and it kind of gets out of the way but it's basically that's pretty much all I could get out of the knee so there's a double jointed knee but it's definitely hindered by uh, by his boot here so that's about as far as it'll go and then for the foot we have a similar joint as the hand so we get some movement here and this lower boot thing actually helps out the foot because it moves out of the way and you can do whatever you want with it and then kind of bring it down to cover up the joint so I like that and then it does swivel and then we do have a toe hinge so yeah again like I said in my last egg attack review I don't really walk into egg attack expecting maximum articulation but uh, this guy definitely has more than I was expecting and I am having a good time posing this figure around and it's definitely a lot of fun to handle so 
yeah, I think they did a pretty good job with the articulation, and it was cool to see, like, what these bodies can actually do, because uh, when they don't have all the soft goods and stuff, they actually have some really good articulation, so, um, yeah, it was definitely fun to experience that, because I don't know if I have any figures that have this body without clothing. I do have some of the older Egg Attack figures that have different articulation setup. It's actually less articulation than these new bodies, so, um, yeah, it was cool to see what these things could do, and uh, I was pretty impressed with what, uh, what he was capable of, so I'm happy with the articulation. Alrighty, so overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, Iron Man is another awesome egg attack figure from Beast Kingdom. I think they did a great job on this guy. I love the way that he looks. I like how they use different shades of blue to kind of mix up the armor a little bit. I love how the armor has a little bit of a shine to it. That looks awesome. I like the light up arc reactor. It would have been nice if the eyes could light up too, but you know, it is what it is. I still think it's an amazing looking figure. They did a great job with the sculpting work. The accessories are nice too. It's cool that he came with blast effects and stuff like that, but the standout accessory is definitely this uh, like missile effect. These are so cool. This is definitely how I'm going to display them. I love that they're articulated and you can move them around. Um, they're really awesome. So this definitely brings up the figure a couple notches. Though, <laughs> look at that, dude. Those are so dope. I really love those. The articulation is pretty good on him too. Definitely enough to have some fun and play around with and get him into some cool poses. So I'm happy with that. And yeah, man, this is just a great figure. Now I want to get the classic Iron Man. And I would like to see Beast Kingdom do some more classic Avengers. Like if they made a classic Captain America with soft goods and like chainmail and stuff, I'd be all over it. I also think a classic comic book Thor would be awesome. So hopefully they do some more characters like that that could go along with Iron Man. But yeah, this, this uh, stealth version definitely convinced me to get the classic one. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that. So yeah, I think he came out awesome and I'm really happy to have him. So huge thank you to Beast Kingdom for sending him out to me to review. I do appreciate it. And if you are interested in picking up this figure, you could get it from San Diego Comic Con 2022 from Beast Kingdom. So be sure to check them out if you want it. And with that, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Also, be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that I go live. If you're not aware, I do go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and every Friday at 7 p.m. So come through. Let's talk about toys and get weird. Thank you very much. Peace.